Hello, it's Jerry Raymond here with an important message for you from the Ipswich Diabetes Centre. Because of COVID, our specialist doctors and nurses have been relocated to work on the COVID wards, caring for the very sick patients. Understandably, this has impacted on our diabetes clinics. We're not alone in this. It has affected all diabetes clinics across the UK. As a result, appointments have been delayed, but we're working hard to address the backlog. Given the circumstances, we've had to make changes in the way we deliver our clinics. We need to be as efficient as possible. This is where you come in. Firstly, you need to be aware of the changes and then what is required of you. Our clinics are now being delivered by telephone, computer, tablet or smartphone. This will continue. To make best use of our limited time, we have two different types of clinic contacts random phone contacts, or booked appointments. For the random phone contacts, you may be phoned at any time in the off chance that you're available for a there and then telephone consultation. This will help us get through the backlog, making best use of our limited free time. It's very helpful to have your recent blood glucose results. If you're familiar with uploading to Diasend or LibreView, please do so regularly, perhaps every two weeks. So on the day, we have relatively recent data. For the booked consultations, you will have been sent a time and date for a virtual telephone or video clinic. Some patients may have been asked to come to the center for a blood and urine test. Please attend as we will need these during the consultation. Be reassured that the testing area has been rearranged to ensure safe shielding. On the other hand, some patients may have been asked to have their blood and urine tests done at their general practice. If possible, it would also be helpful if your blood pressure and feet can be checked please inquire with the practice if this is possible. Arrange these well before the clinic visit as we will need these during the consultation. Some patients do not require the full set of blood and urine tests. They simply require an HbA1c. We've developed a postal system to allow you to be able to do this at home. Full instructions will be sent. Please post this back to us as soon as possible to allow for postal delays and to give us time to process the sample. For the booked consultations, again, it's very helpful to have data from your blood glucose meter. If you're able to do so, please upload this data well before the visit using Diasend or LibreView following the instructions given in the appointment letter. For the video consultations, we need these clinics to run as efficiently as possible. This is where you come in. Be prepared. To get through the backlog, the contact time will need to be reduced to no more than 15 minutes. So we need to ensure that everything runs smoothly. It may be helpful for you to think about what you would like to discuss before the consultation but be aware we can only deal with diabetes related matters. For the phone consultations, be prepared. Sit by the phone a few minutes beforehand so no time is wasted. We will also try to be on time, but please understand that we may be delayed as previous patients may have needed more time than expected. So please do not go away, we will get to you. For the video consultations, your appointment letter will have contained information on how to connect to attend anywhere. 
Again, be prepared. Get online well before the appointed time, as there may be glitches in the technology. If you are unable to connect, do not worry. We can refer to a telephone consultation. Finally, for the booked consultations, all clinic space must be used. We cannot afford to have gaps. If you cannot make the appointment, please let us know as soon as possible so that we can allocate the slot to someone else. If you are given an appointment but did not attend, we will send another, but please understand that this will mean that you will have to wait longer to be seen. In the interim, please contact the practice to arrange follow-up with them. If you fail to attend two or more appointments, sadly, we will assume that you no longer wish to continue under our care and no further appointments will be sent. So, in summary, we're doing our very best to run an efficient service but need your help. You may have been allocated an unexpected phone call appointment. Although not perfect, most people have found these very helpful. The limited book clinics need to run on time, so be prepared waiting by the phone or going online before the appointment. Blood tests and HbA1c tests should also be done well before the appointment and upload your blood glucose data regularly. If you cannot attend, let us know in advance so we can cancel your appointment and give it to someone else. I hope you found this communication helpful and are happy with the arrangements. We of course look forward to talking to you at the clinic visit. In the interim, if you have any urgent diabetes needs, we're here to help. But anything else, you should contact your general practitioner. So I'm going to say goodbye, but end by wishing you good health from all the staff at the Diabetes Centre.